What's up guys, I'm Black Ops Amazing and welcome to another GTA 5 video on my channel. So in this video we're going to be talking about the brand new 1.09 update. We're going to be talking about what this patch did and everything to do with this update. So if you do go into enjoy the video guys, if you could just leave a like rating, it takes just a second. If we could reach over 300 likes, that would be really, really appreciated. Also, if you want to see some more awesome GTA 5 videos on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now. Upload the video guys and enjoy. So I'll leave the official patch notes on the forum down in the description if you guys want to go ahead and check this out for yourself. But there have only been two official notes that have been released to us by Rockstar. This is only a very small update. They haven't really added many things on this update. But one thing I think they really have focused on is the modded money, the RP glitches and all stuff like that, the DNS servers. So the first thing that the 1.09 patch brings us is improved anti-cheat measures. So basically they've broken down or they've taken away all of the methods of us actually modding money into GTA 5 Online or actually modding any RP or any stuff like that. There's basically no way for us to mod RP into GTA 5 Online. They've basically taken away or patched the .json file so it's no longer called .json. Either they've changed it to something else or they've actually deleted it. So so that should mean no more modded money for GTA 5 Online. They've also had a fix for several GTA 5 money and RP exploits. So any money glitches or RP glitches before this, most of them would have been patched. The one that you could actually use with the cargo bob, where you could use the cargo bob to duplicate a vehicle and then sell the duplicated vehicle, that one is actually still working. That one's up on my channel if you want to go ahead and check that out. But they've patched most of the RP exploits and the GTA money glitches. So that is basically all the information this 1.09 update brings. It's a very small update. I think the one thing they've mainly focused on is actually taking away all of the modded lobbies and taking away some more of the money glitches and RP glitches. There are actually no heists that have been added in the 1.09 update. I know quite a few people were saying that heists are going to come in this update. Well, they haven't. Like I said, they've been too busy focusing on patching these modded lobbies. Now they've been patched, hopefully they can actually focus on the heists and they can get them out for everyone. No cash has been removed from any player account so anyone who modded money into GTA 5 online or was given money or anything no cash has been removed by Rockstar and they also haven't taken away anybody's rank so again if someone's like rank 900 from a modded lobby they won't have taken away your rank and also the rat loader is still not storable for some reason it should actually be storable I think and uh, it isn't at the moment so we'll see what the next update brings a few confirmed RP glitches and info, the high priority case RP glitch has been fixed, the editor and theft RP glitch has been fixed, but the rooftop rumble RP glitch does actually still work. You still cannot load your old save file, so like I said, there's still no way of anyone who got their character deleted a long time ago or lost their character, there's still no way of getting them back or getting your old save file back. And also the Infernus now has break caliper. A few more thing, one confirmed thing is that the Hersey will still spawn at the church spawn location. The draw distance is noticeably worse in both single player and online, so for some reason you actually can't see as far as you used to be able to do in online and single player. I think that could be because they've actually added a slight fog in there or they've added the actual ability to have fog in GTA 5 online. You'll have to check that out for yourself, but you can't actually see as far in GTA Online as you used to be able to. The same goes with campaign. Full face masks actually still remove your hair. The character switch god mode glitch actually still works. Gerald's hat has been removed for some reason. I don't know why. And that is it for this update, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it or it did help you out in any way, please make sure you do leave a like rating. It's really appreciated. Also, if you want to see some more awesome GTA 5 videos on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button on screen now. Or below the video, guys, make sure you follow me on Twitter for every bit of information about my channel. The links will be down in the description. And until next time, peace out.